All right, here we go. I'm gonna first coat the canvas with white. Not a very thick coat, but I think that's all right for what we're doing. Now, I think we'll go with our darkest. No, I want to coat that canvas a little better. Let that get a little. Little bit of that, and we'll go with a shoot. A little bit of this is like a tinted blue, tinted halo. Just use it all up. All right, let's see what this does. One thing I noticed before I go any further is I've got a lot of air bubbles because I just at the last minute decided to use this thalo blue. So I need to use my heat gun, which I hardly ever do, but I'm going to pop those bubbles real quick. Again, I do not use silicone, so I don't need to use a torch, but sometimes air bubbles need to be popped. So that's that. Now, I think since this doesn't look like it's turning into anything super fabulous, I'm going to experiment and do a swipe as it's turning. I might regret it, but let's try it. That's sort of cool. Do we like that? Maybe I should then spin it and let it develop after that.
So that's cool. It's different. The only thing I don't like is you can totally tell where I started this wipe. Um, and I'm not really super keen about that gray in there. So I might put a little more white there and see. Or what if I just swipe it backwards? I'm gonna try swiping that back into the gray and then spinning it again and see what happens. Okay, mixed it a little and then we're gonna spin it again and see what happens. here into the spiral which is cool because oh gosh that's got some serious life going on now what I like it I feel like it's a barrel wave and this is the crashing um, white caps. That gray was just a little too gray though. I thought I used the blue gray. I guess it's just in contrast to that. This is the blue gray. Yeah, it's just not blue enough for that other blue that's so intense. Sweet, I like it though. You dig it? I mean, the thing I like about this spin is that it gives this zooming in action effect. Everything is just slightly out of focus and draws your attention into the center. I like it a lot. So this was um, a surprise, and I like it. I think that it's not quite your perfect barrel wave beach scene, and that's okay. It definitely evokes that feel, but there's definitely some ambiguity about what's going on with the gray stripe, which certainly, if that was in the shallows with the breakers, that would make sense. Uh, but out there in the middle of the blue, deep blue, it doesn't make sense. But I guess that's okay, right? Because it's abstract evocation of a beach scene. Uh, not completely dry, waiting on it to dry, and then we'll take the yardstick off the back and we will put it on an easel and look at it in some better lighting and not up against that horrible red background you got right now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com. Bye.